Hello guys and girls, welcome to SaveMate. Ahoy hoy to all new subscribers and today uh, we are gonna make one of these, doesn't even look too self-made, but it actually is. <coughs> and uh, might be one of the coolest. Uh, you see the dot is really circular, not too uh, weird and in the center. And uh, all you need is an old, um, CD case and some minor tools and you're ready to go. So um, let's see how it's made. So we have an old dirty um, CD cover. All you need now is your template. You lay it on, you draw it on and you cut it out. You can either use a hacksaw, jigsaw or Sharp knife, uh, be careful with the chop. And then you should have something looking like this. So it's working in shape. We just, I marked the center. And yeah, let's just say one and a half and one and a half. line and now bend over not too close to the to the plastic so this is made from the bottom part of the CD or lid and for the next step you need another lid and those sides we cut out the center and fit it in here as a base plate, so to speak. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do this. So you measure what you have in your tunnel, about four inside. So um, we have to make a base plate, four wide. Let's go. I just mark it halfway. Now we cut it out <coughs> and go from there. So just to show you where this is going, those will fit in here. And now we need a connector plate like this. So now we have all the uh, housing parts together. Now go to your inventory and uh, grab your wonder glue. <laughs> Fall out, baby. And uh, yeah, we just glue the sides on. I think we just we go in for it and uh, start doing this live on camera. I don't care. And done. Well, halfway done. So now we have to make the, the top part holding the LED. And we'll just use the bottom part of the uh, CD because it kind of looks cool. Tiny little, little stairs. And um, that's what we go for. We just mark it. Yeah, you can see it all right and cut it out till like here and then glue it on 
uh, it's always easier to uh, start with a smallest drill and see how it works out. You could still, even if it's finished, you can uh, go and uh, make the hole larger. Making it smaller is kind of impossible. So uh, I start with two millimeters uh, right in the center. Like that. Yeah. That was my finger. I just wanted to show you how not to do it. <coughs> like a Ralph Wiggum. So, that's it. Hole for the LED. And what we need now is a holder or a stand for our uh, display. And I want to just glue it in kind in the middle for the display put it on the remaining part and just go around the edge the inside of your housing and that's what you get just cut it out make sure it's I would just uh, give it a bit more on the bottom and uh, yeah, don't glue it in yet. We will have to uh, spray paint the housing and then put it in to make sure it stays clear and shiny. And uh, yeah, let's cut it. So now you just uh, cut the stairs, uh, same drill. Just uh, put a piece of uh, the remaining stuff and just draw it on, cut it out and glue to the side and it will just look like uh, it belongs there and same for the other side then maybe another uh, top cover and uh, we are almost done so um, the sides are glued on also a tiny um, piece of the CD cover lid for the um, battery holder just next part is a bit difficult to show because it's all clear uh, we need um, a tiny channel in here for the battery minus or plus you know depending on what's on the bottom and for this you have to get really close to to your to your base plate and the still Drill along and a channel right into the battery plate. So to hold the LED in place, I will just use this edge and glue it right against the, the LED to make sure it doesn't wobble around. Looks all right. Let's see if it works. Seems bright and blue. That's how we want it you see all the black markings doesn't really matter because we will cover it in black so nobody really cares you won't see them before we uh, spray paint it you need to uh, put a tiny stripe of tape doesn't matter what kind of tape as long as it covers up your sweet spot to protect the LED and another one in the rear doesn't need it you don't even have to just to make sure the wires will not be covered and isolated by paint still won't need them to be conductive to make sure I show you more than usual that's how I spray paint you get a glove you uh, put a stripe of tape and then you just spray paint it hanging try to get into all the tiny spots which are hidden and in the end it looks like this not even too self-made huh and yeah all that's really left to do right now is peel off the tape and um, glue in our display so the display is in tiny bit of hot glue and now you can push it with a screwdriver just to the place where you are it looks awesome right tiny bright spot and perfectly circular 
the trail you see there is just a tiny reflection from the camera and from the from the surface up here but it looks great and uh, yeah I will cover up the LED and just make a slot for the for the battery I uh, see it looks a lot better this is just too bright awesome so that's it for today guys um, don't forget to subscribe like it share it and next time we might make a our own uh, simple rail system so uh, yeah stay tuned I'll see you next time